We have an eclipse coming on Saturday. Are we going to have to worry about clouds? Let's talk about it in the Thursday edition of A Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning, it is Thursday, the 12th of October, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers, David Reimer. Overall, the next five days, not a whole lot of precipitation to talk about, if any, across the state of Texas, but we do have weather to talk about, that is for sure. It is going to be quite windy again today, tonight, and Friday across the northwestern half of Texas. It was windy yesterday, it has been windy overnight, and it will stay windy as Crashy the Cold Front begins to make its entrance this evening continuing to push south on Friday. Let's just take a look at the high rise Rapid Refresh model. This is going to be for today, tonight, into Friday. You can see starting off this morning with some cloud cover. That'll burn off by this afternoon. Not a thing on the radar. We're going to see some low clouds redevelop tonight south of a cool front, which you can kind of make out here on the animated imagery as that cloud band begins to push to the southeast tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon. Precipitation staying north of the state of Texas, including some snow across the higher elevations of Colorado, their first of the season. Wildfire danger over the next several days. Today could be a busy wildfire day across the western third of Texas as we deal with very strong winds, dry air, and then tonight a wind shift from the southwest to the northwest behind crashy the cold front. On Friday and Saturday, the potential for moderate to high fire danger across across a majority of Texas. That's starting to bump back up now that we're dealing with multiple days of dry weather, a dry air mass, and some gustier winds. Speaking of rain over the next seven days, this map isn't broken, by the way. That is just what's expected. We might see a tenth of an inch of rain across far western portions of the Rio Grande Plains at some point over the next six days. The rest of Texas, this map is... Uh, emulating my bald head. Not good. We need rain. But we don't need rain on Saturday, and that's because we have an annular eclipse moving across the state of Texas. Uh, what that means is into the morning hours, Wednesday, or Wednesday, Saturday, into Saturday afternoon, west to east, we're going to see the annular eclipse progress across Texas. The, perf the uh, annular path Moving from the Permian Basin, Southern Concho Valley, Hill Country, South Central Texas, right into the coastal bend, where we will have a nearly full annular eclipse. Outside of that, uh, we'll still see it across, you know, the rest of Texas. So, what are we going to be dealing with cloud-wise? Well, here's the global forecast system. We're still a bit out of range of the super high-res weather models, but for most of Texas, this model has clear skies. By Wednesday afternoon. Some cloud cover across the panhandle, some indicated in the Edwards Plateau, but again, uh, realistically, we should be looking at mostly clear to completely clear skies across the entire state of Texas by early Saturday afternoon. We'll refine that in tomorrow's Texas Weather Roundup when we have the real high-rise weather model data, just in case we have some patchy pockets of uh, cloud cover, but it's going to be chilly and Maybe a bit of a breeze, but otherwise, we should be in good shape for the eclipse on Saturday. High temperatures over the next five days. Well, today, it's going to be unpleasantly warm because I said so, and I don't like it anymore. It is mid-October. I want fall. I do not get my fall. I am not happy. I will get my fall tomorrow. I will be happier. Temperatures this afternoon, mid to upper 90s. Northwest Texas, the big country down into the Concho Valley, Permian Basin, Rio Grande Plains, Rio Grande Valley, coolest across the northwest panhandle and in the Arklatex. Tomorrow, you can see the cold front moving southeast. These are high temperatures after 7 a.m. Friday, meaning some folks here, like the Metroplex, are probably going to see their high temperatures right about 7 to 8 a.m. Friday before crashy the cold front moves through. Temperatures tomorrow knocking out of the 60s in the Panhandle in West Texas, 70s across the northwestern third of the state, 80s and 90s southeastern two thirds of Texas. But again, crash to the cold front will drop temperatures through the day as it continues to push south and east. We may see some triple digits in the Rio Grande Plains tomorrow. McAllen, you better not hit 100 tomorrow, but you might, and I will be very unhappy. Happier news Saturday. High temperatures, 60s northern panhandle. It's going to be pretty chilly. Uh, Elsewhere, 70s to middle 80s. Cooler than the last several days. Dry as well. 
should be mostly clear across the state. Not a bad day at all to go out and view the eclipse. Uh, to get ready for the one next April, which will be a total eclipse. Sunday, same story, 60s, 70s, and 80s statewide. Monday, it might actually be a degree of too colder across the state. As a reinforcing shot of cool air filters in, we're going to still have northwesterly flow aloft into early to mid next week. So this cool snap will stick around a bit longer than last weekend's. Coolest folks actually in the Arklatex. We're going to see some cold air damming from the higher elevations in Arkansas filter into the Arklatex, northeast Texas. Texarkana, you may not get out of the 50s on Monday afternoon. Otherwise, 60s, 70s, too low, maybe middle 80s on Monday. Not a bad forecast at all. And again, if you're heading out and about on Saturday or, you know, just want to know more about the annular eclipse, enjoy. Here you go. The one next April. I can't remember the exact date, but I know it's in the first half of April. I've already got a hotel room booked down there, by the way. Good luck finding one. If not for April, uh, it was too late. Anyway, here you go. Hopefully you'll be out and about to enjoy it, and for what it's worth, the weather's going to be pretty darn nice for the tech, for the Rangers and Astros games Monday and Sunday. I'm dyslexic. It's a Thursday. I need more coffee. So, hey, good news. There you go. Y'all make it a good Thursday. We'll chat with y'all again Friday morning.